Okay, I know that we were all waiting for an update on Wendy Williams to see how things are going for her, especially after the trailer for her documentary dropped about two weeks ago. From the things we saw in the documentary, there hasn't really been an improvement in her life in the past three years. But through it all, Wendy is still in love with her ex-husband, Kevin, and she is even making plans to get back with him. However, her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., is not here for this, and he is blaming it all on Wendy's dementia, claiming that she is not in her right mind. This is all so sad, but does this mean that Kevin Hunter is going to get his clutches back on Wendy and keep using her for money? So Wendy has been on a downward spiral for a while now, and things started to go left for her in 2021 after she suffered some health challenges that left her unable to film her show. Actually, no. It actually started in 2019 when she found out that her husband of almost 20 years, Kevin Hunter, had gotten his long-term girlfriend, Sharina Hudson, pregnant. Wendy had known about the affair for a long time, but she chose to turn a blind eye to it. But with a baby on the way, she could no longer hide from the truth and she was completely broken over it. I had nobody again to talk to, but the times now were even deeper than they ever were in my life. I couldn't call my mom, my dad, my sister. They would have just said, just leave, just leave. And I'm like, I, but I'm still in love. I don't know what to do. Like, are you serious with this? This is really going down. This is going down. She eventually made up her mind to file for divorce and leave Kevin because she wasn't about to play stepmother in her own marriage. And she wasn't just about to leave the marriage like that, so she got Kevin fired from his job on the Wendy Show on the same day that she served him divorce papers. You know, if you make, I don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager and then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. In other yeah. words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. However, that still wasn't enough because Wendy was still hurting really bad over the situation. She went on a drinking binge that made her alcohol dependency even worse than it was. And that was the beginning of her troubles. Her health started acting up, so she was unable to appear on her show for an entire season which ultimately led to the show being canceled. She was in and out of wellness facilities for the three years that she was missing from the big screen. So when her team announced that she was going to be starring in a Lifetime documentary, we all kind of assumed that things were getting better for her and we were excited to see it. But when the trailer dropped, we realized that things were not as we hoped. And if anything, she was in a worse state than we assumed. I mean, she literally started off by claiming that she had gone broke and had nothing left to her name. And it kind of sounded like she was still struggling with her drinking. I'm put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching. And she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Her son, Kevin Jr., also appeared in the trailer, and he hinted that her court-ordered guardian wasn't doing their job and was leaving Wendy vulnerable to be taken advantage of by the greedy people who surrounded her. I feel like the guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. My life. My life. <laughs> right now, she's weak and vulnerable, and she needs to be around people who aren't going to take advantage of that. Now, that documentary was filmed back in 2022, so naturally fans assumed that she had been getting better in the time that had passed since. But unfortunately, this isn't the case according to new reports from her medical team. Her doctor announced that she had been diagnosed with dementia and released a statement saying, in 2023, after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. Her symptoms, which combine impact her language and communication, behavior and cognitive functions, have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. Tasha K revealed this back in 2021, but nobody paid her any attention because y'all know that Tasha K stays making up fake news for clout. I'm just going to put it out here. Wendy done. Wendy done. Wendy is done. And she has early stages of uh, uh, dementia. At the time, her brother Tommy denied the allegations, claiming that Wendy didn't have dementia. He said, we haven't had any alerts like that and I haven't seen anything like that or have had conversations with her that would lead me to believe that. We routinely go up and check on Wendy, so no, we don't have any concerns concerning her mental state. 
it's all physical. To be fair, her doctors did say that she was only diagnosed last year, so technically her brother wasn't lying. But the dementia isn't the only concerning news that we're hearing because according to her sister and niece, Wendy's guardian has completely shut her family out of her life and they haven't seen her in a long time. Her sister, Wanda Finney, claimed that the last time her family had seen her was in 2021, saying when she was in Florida, there were a number of people involved. Even beyond family, there were doctors involved and people in Wendy's professional world were involved. She had a health team in place, nurses in place, and she had family in place. She was getting healthier. She also said, I don't think there's anyone Wendy needed more than her family. Separate the money part. All I want to know is that my sister is going to live and that she's going to be healthy. The concern of the family has always been Wendy's health. Wendy's niece, Alex Finney, also talked about the extreme measures that Wendy's guardian took to keep Wendy away from her family. Alex claimed that Wendy is required to call her family members from a blocked phone number, meaning they can't reach out directly to her. Alex also also said, and I say this honestly, we went through birthdays, we went through holidays, we went through illness. There was a period when my grandfather was in the hospital, there was no way to contact her and let her know what was going on with her 93 year old father. This is concerning on so many levels and kind of heartbreaking. With all Wendy is going through, she needs her family to be around her, but her guardian has other ideas even if it's unclear how exactly that's benefiting her. But the real heartbreaking part here is that even after all this time, with everything that Kevin Hunter put her through, Wendy is still hopelessly in love with him. In a snippet from the documentary, we see her having a conversation with Black China, but it's clear that Wendy couldn't follow the conversation and she insisted that her real name is Wendy Hunter, not Williams. Cause even when I was going through my darkest times, like you never used that against me. You know what I mean? And that's how you know that the love is like genuine and it's yeah. always gonna be there. You know, and I'm always be here for you, like straight up. You can call my phone whenever. I'm so serious. And I think I'm gonna be back and forth from New York, so I'm gonna be coming to see you more. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm divorced. Yes. He's got no money. Yeah. But it's not only that because her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., just came out to say that Wendy has been asking for Kevin, saying that she wanted to go back to her man. Because of her dementia, she has issues with her memories and believes that she is still married to Kevin. She no longer remembers what went down and how Kevin did her dirty, and all she wants is her man. Junior finds this incredibly sad because he is extremely protective of his mom. And the last thing he wants is for her to get back with Kevin because Junior can't put it past Kevin to try to worm his way back into Wendy's graces and use her. Fans left comments saying, sad to see Wendy going through what she's going through, but just know Wendy was that girl been that girl and will forever be that girl. Wendy is like this because of Kevin. That whole Kevin and baby saga was the beginning of her end, unfortunately. And I honestly think Wendy's heartbreak behind that man cheating sent her down a spiral. Still to this day, even with late onset dementia, she's still mentioning that divorce and Kevin. This is just so sad, but y'all drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.